down the road, I stayed either at Riviera or Stardust. And uh, that's kind of when I ran into a lot of interesting characters running across the street, back and forth across Las Vegas Boulevard. Everybody trying to be quicker than the next guy to get a number, uh, you know, to bet on a certain number. And, uh, you know, all those pay phones outside of the Stardust, uh, but then the Riviera back and forth uh, running across Las Vegas Boulevard. Back then I was younger, so uh, I was a little quicker than some of the guys. So I usually got a pretty good pretty good numbers and whatnot but uh yeah those are certainly some of my first memories of betting on sports in vegas well, i would say for me when i walked into the super book at the las vegas Hilton. That was really something special. When I looked up, I thought, oh man, look at this. And then back in the day, you could, you could take the moving walkway into Caesars Palace Sportsbook and look down over that whole book. I thought that was pretty phenomenal. Um, I guess a little later down the road, you know, going to the Mirage, knowing Jimmy Vaccaro was behind the counter in, in this massive new resort in Las Vegas. So they all had various, various impacts on me and, uh, me and my sports betting life. I think, I think what you're seeing today, in today's day and age, um, the, some of the players, the, the real professional sports gamblers, they are very, very impressive. And their background, their work ethic, it's unbelievable. You know, sometimes people say, oh, this guy's a sports gambler, you know, and he has a couple wins. They don't realize these guys that are professional sports gamblers, they're guys that are working literally 100 hours a week coming up with their own numbers.